Welcome to 2 News at 6. We start with new details about a shooting at a bar that left one man dead. It happened at Club Hollywood in Springfield on Thanksgiving Day. And it's not the only incident at that location in the past week. Now police need your help to crack both cases. 2 News reporter Elias Seabrooks is in Springfield with new information on these investigations. Brooke and John, police are still looking for the suspect in that deadly shooting. They are also looking for the person they say intentionally set a fire at that club last night. Let's start with the shooting. Police say it happened around 11.45 p.m. on Thanksgiving. They received multiple 911 calls from patrons and employees of the bar about a shooting. Police arrived quickly, finding the victim dead. He's been identified as 30-year-old Shaheem Gibson of Springfield. Investigators will not release the relationship between Gibson and the suspect, saying it remains under investigation. Fast forward to Monday night, police say they responded to reports of a fire at the same location on East Pleasant Street. Investigators collecting evidence that pointed to arson as the cause of the fire. The arson and shooting reports are just two of eight calls just this month that police have responded to at the club. Following the shooting and the fire, the owner says the club will remain closed in the meantime. Springfield police say these types of crimes at the same place so close together has them concerned. We have had multiple car calls at that establishment, especially over the last six months or so. But the fact that we've had two calls there in a, such a short time, both with very suspicious circumstances, that's something we're looking at. Police say there were a large number of people at the club on Thursday when the shooting happened, but none have been cooperative. The club was closed when the fire started last night, and the owner has been cooperating in both investigations. Anyone with information on either incident is asked to call Springfield Police. Reporting in Springfield, Aliyah Seabrooks, 2 News. And you can see the entire news conference from earlier today about that shooting on the 2 News app. To get that, just grab your smartphone, open the camera, and scan the QR code on your screen, which will then take you to our website. And there you'll find a link to download the app for free.